Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. Male redditors of reddit, have you ever shown your best friend your penis? If so why? I often get dressed in front of my dog. Tips off hat. I looked at the dog. And he looked at me back. He eyed up my balls and my pubes and my crack. We stood in the bedroom. The silence was thick. I nodded politely. Yeah, this is my dick. My first apartment I moved in with one of my best buds. I worked nights and once when I came home he asked me that since I was going to college I could look at his dick since it hurt. I explained to him I was going to tech school for machining not med school lol but he insisted and was freaked out so I did it. Turned out he broke it while having sex with his girl earlier and it was black and blue. He asked if he should go to the hospital and I told him if my dick looked like that I'd be pushing women and children out of the way to get there. Edit, holy shit guys thank you so much. I literally did not see this take off as when I posted it I was waiting in the hospital room while they prepped my wife for a c-section lol. I now have a beautiful daughter and my first gilded post. Also this caused my wife to laugh so hard the nurses became concerned and came in. For those asking he did go to the hospital and it was minor just looked bad due to bruising. Injury came from her riding him and his dick coming out and into her thigh mid thrust. They did not marry as she tried to stab him with a piece of broken glass during a fight like two months later. Pushes woman. Woman who was pushed wow, what a dick. Nice to know you would push children you forward slash baby stumper. What's wrong with that? A true BRO would have kissed it better. Yeah sure he broke it. Probably just colored it with a couple markers. Hey BRO, take a look at my dick. What do you think? Looks pretty messed up, BRO. I know and it hurts. Will you rub some lotion on it? Five years ago, my best friend came to visit me for the first time in the city I moved to for work. I was single and using Tinder, so for a few days before he arrived I'd been having some dirty talk with a girl who wanted to get freaky. After he arrived, the girl asked me to meet up but I told her I had a friend in town and it would have to wait. Surprisingly, she replied how about I come take care of both of you. Neither my buddy or I had ever once had a threesome. We took a step back and in a moment of clairvoyance both agreed fuck it, we're in our early 2000s and 20s, let's invite this girl over and it'll be a fun memory for later. I sent her a message and said sounds good, we're waiting for you. While we waited, we made the bed and cleaned the place up but then we thought shit, we've never seen each other's dicks before, let alone any other dick in person, and we're about to have the devil's threesome. Simultaneously, a dick-shaped light bulb turned on for both us, let's show each other our cocks right now so we can get it over with. We proceed to count down for 3, 2, 1 and got a solid glance at each other's soft wangs. Alright, well we got that out of the way. I grab my phone and open Tinder to see that this girl said I was just kidding, lmk when he's gone so we can meet up. We both fell to the fucking floor and started laughing. At my wedding, my friend gave a groomsman speech. He started it like this, you forward slash housemate you are one of my closest friends, we have seen such intimate and private parts of each other's lives. Fuck you, Ben, I love you. That speech. He is one of the A-lite, no doubt. I did a lot of streaking back in the day. Pretty much every person within 30 miles of home saw my dick between 2003 and 2005. Hi Jake. Hey, what's up? Nope. Grow and not a shower. My buddy, however, wrapped his around his wrist and asked me what time it was. It's his party trick. Seen that thing way too many times. I read it as waste and thought it was one hell of a party trick. How much blood would you even need to get that bigger dick hard? Catch the guy with that trouser snake passing out when he gets hard because there's just not enough blood in him. My friend did this with his ball sack and kept telling people it was time to ball. Mayo quality friend. Same. My wife of 18 years from time to time, and again last week or so, said to me after sex it always amazes me how big it can get considering it's so small the rest of the time. I'm actually okay with that. It's big when it counts and packs up nicely for travel the rest of the time. Tactical penis. My husband is a grower. I tell him he has the best case scenario because this way he doesn't have a big old dawn flopping between his legs all the time. As someone with big tits, it would be so convenient for them to be small and out of the way most of the time and then big when I want them to be lol. 
Yes, because I was drunk and flooded our buddy's bathroom while attempting to take a drunk shower. Nice. My buddy and I were supposed to meet up. My timing was off, so I thought I had plenty of time to have some fun with the wifey. I come out of the bedroom looking for a towel, and see my buddy walk through my front door. Direct line of sight of me stepping over doggy gate, just hanging door. We lock eyes, he calls me a motherfucker and walks back outside. Edit, holy shit, my highest rated comment is due to my buddy seeing my floppy post sex dick. We'll try to clarify your replies as best I can. My, now, ex-wife was in no way related to my buddy. Not his mom, not his wife. He is not Samuel L. Jackson, I'm not that lucky, nor cool. The motherfucker was definitely a goddammit, why am I looking at your dick? 18 years later, he still gives me shit, saying I did it on purpose. Door was unlocked as it was midday in a fairly safe area. Plus I was expecting him to show up, just not so quickly. I shit you not I imagined your friend saying it in Samuel Jackson's voice BTW on a completely unrelated topic is your best friend Samuel Jackson. It sounds so wrong hearing his name without the L in the middle. Was this a light-hearted motherfucker or a you son of bitch motherfucker? Probably depends on who the wifey was the wife of. Yay, we went to the swim place together, can't remember the English word. Sex dungeon. I'm pretty sure he meant sex dungeon. Swim place. The pool. No, it's like an indoor pool, like a with slides and shit, water park. Being the youngest of four older brothers, showing my way to those I care about is second nature. Hey it's me Urbro. Our forward slash user aim checks out. Because I show everybody penis. Am I the only one who read it in Russian accent? No, but I'm just trying to decide whether it's more of a crazy Russian hacker or putty type of voice. Yes. She's gay, and a doctor. I had an ingrown hair and I wasn't sure what was going on. She offered to take a look. I've seen my best friend's dick for exactly this reason, though I'm neither gay nor a doctor. But if my best friend wakes me up at 3am because he's worried about a suspicious bump on his balls, I'm gonna help a BRO out. I have no sexual interest in his dick anyway. I'm pretty sure he's seen my tits at some point or another. I don't really care. We get our jollies with other people. We're just best friends who happen to have differently shaped bodies. Is this the start of a porno? What are you doing step doctor? New Year's Eve, 2004. My best friend and I were both quite drunk, and sitting outside away from the party just to chill for a bit. We decided we wanted to seal our friendship as blood brothers, but not with the whole cutting our hands and mixing our blood because that's gross. So, we whipped out our junk and dipped our balls into each other's beer glasses, and chugged the whole thing. We are now ball brothers. Funny thing is I didn't remember it completely the next morning, but I did remember the sensation of my testicles being cold. Edit, well, I didn't expect this to blow up. I'm going on vacation in a couple weeks and meeting up with him for the Independence Day weekend, and yes, we're still best friends, so ball beers work. I'm sure he'll be tickled pink knowing our story got 8 Kelvin up bodies. And then we'll have to do it again, because that just seems like the right thing to do now. Not mixing our blood because that's gross. Proceeds to drink beer out of the glass where his friend's balls were. Pretty sure you won this thread. I showed a couple, three guys one girl, of my close friends my dick when we were 14-ish. The girl agreed to show everyone her tits, which were very large, if I whipped out my dick. So I took one for the team, stepped out of the room and came back with my dick hanging out. After a couple awkward nice s and hmms, she whipped out her knockers to a couple of, well, s and yum, s. One of the best trade deals in the history of trade deals maybe ever. A true BRO takes one for the team. Ah yes, the negotiator. General Grievous, you're shorter than I expected. I am pretty sure my buddy and I both have unintentionally seen one another's junk, most times it was after drinking like fish. Mind you him and I have known each other since middle school and we both are 31 now. Anyways first time I saw his we all went out drinking for a work thing, I had a single drink that entire night, and was sober by the time our boss asked me to get him home, and so I did. Got him in the apartment into his room and went about the rest of my night. Wasn't hearing anything from his room like usual so I went to check, he wasn't in his bed, the TV wasn't on, nothing. 
I see the light on in his bathroom so I knock to see if he's alright but get no answered, and Dummy opens the door to peek inside and make sure he wasn't dead or dying. Dude was passed out hugging the toilet buck ass naked dick sprawled across the floor. Immediately noped out after making sure he wasn't dead. Should've dragged him in bed, tucked him in, and gave him a kiss goodnight. Dragged him how? My best friend and I had a threesome with his girlfriend a few years back. She really wanted two dudes, and he knew he could trust me. All in all, I'd give the experience four stars. Out of 400 billion in the Milky Way. Did he thrust you? Peter. Stop. Stop. It's me. <laughs>